Today, we're here with Vanessa Slurry, who was recently appointed Digicel CEO for the Caribbean and Central America. Hello and congratulations. Thank you very much, Al. You have a long history with Digicel and the Caribbean. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, I, um, 28 years ago, I lived in the Caribbean, um, and the Caribbean was my home for several years. Um, I um, left um, the Cayman Islands um, about 25 years ago to go and, and pursue my studies back in Ireland. And it was always my dream to come back and live in the Caribbean. So um, I was recruited to Digicel from Trinidad where I was living in 2003. And I had travelled all over the Caribbean. I've worked in Belize um, prior to that in Trinidad. Um, I joined Digicel um, as a project director and we, um, my first role was to be top project director for Trinidad. However, on my second day, they asked me, because I lived in the Cayman Islands, would I go back and help write the bid? So I started my journey again throughout the Caribbean in a very different life, working for Digicel, um, rolling out markets, so from Trinidad to Cayman, um, Grenada, Barbados, Anguilla, Antigua, St. Kitts and Nevis, finally Haiti, before I then moved on to the South Pacific and left the Caribbean. But my heart really has always been here. And um, a few years ago, um, my family and I moved to France and with a plan to come back and eventually um, land um, back in the Cayman Islands, which we did a month ago. So we're home and this is going to be it. My kids are in school now and we're delighted to be here. Vanessa, you are the first female CEO for the Caribbean and Central America. Digicel is a company about empowerment, about equality, about seeing more female managers rising through the ranks. Uh, um, what do you see going forward? Is this something that we can look forward to seeing more female managers, senior managers at the company? It's a very interesting question and the answer is absolutely. We can, we can plan on seeing much more female managers. Already our workforce, 49% um, of our workforce are females and 38% um, of our management team are represented by females. I mean, I'm a mother myself, so um, I understand the, the work-life balance and the pressures on parents um, at the same time trying to be an executive, okay? Um, I don't think you can do that without a lot of support from your mm -hmm. colleagues. Um, and certainly the, the environment I want to create at Digital is that that empowerment is there and that support is there for people that they can have both. But equally, I think that um, you know, mothers and fathers have a challenge of getting support at home. So, it's really important that we discuss our careers and the support that's needed at home um, so that you can actually have both. I would say to all the teams across the um, island, if you take the, me as an example of starting as a project director, I'm working my way through the ranks of Digicel with a lot of hard work and dedication. Um, the only thing that would have stopped me becoming successful was me. Yeah. So it was. I would you know, like the team to look at themselves and go, the only thing stopping you from reaching the sky is you. Um, so certainly from our side, I want that platform to be created so that they are there to have that support so that they can reach the stars and just realize their full potential. I mean, if you look at our workforce, how the intelligence, the talent, the enthusiasm, the out-of-box thinking, I mean, we're, we're now working and, and operating in, um, in a society and in a sector that great isn't good enough anymore. You have to be exceptional. Um, where, you know, to succeed in this industry, we have to be fantastic at everything we do. Great isn't just good enough anymore. And that's what I'm going to be challenging the, the team to do over the next couple of months. Um, I want to, you know, launch an employee charter so everyone's clear on what are, who we are, what we are, what our core values are, and how they can be part of that and make sure that we're all aligned, we're one team, we've got one voice, and we're all going in the same direction. The two things I'm obsessed with are customers and people. People being our team, our staff, um, I'm obsessed with understanding them, knowing them, what drives them, motivating them, empowering them. On our customers, I want all our customers to feel like they're kings and queens. I want us to delight them. I want us to go beyond. And I know the more, you know, when in this data-hungry um, life that we lead today, that if the, 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 the thirst and the, um, 
the desire for more data is just, it keeps going. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to find a way of continuing to delight those customers um, from every touch point, from whether you are walk into a retail store, call one of our, our call centers, meet a salesperson, meet somebody out on their time off, that we are all true ambassadors for the company. Over the last few weeks, you've been touring the various markets across the Caribbean and Central America. Um, can you tell me a little bit of what you've discovered and uh, um, what, can we, what can the staff expect? Um, good question, Al. Um, um, the last few weeks, um, yes, I have been traveling a lot. I've been doing a lot of listening. Um, I love to be on the road. I love to get out there and, and get a pulse of what, what is really going on in the market. You know, it's important to recognize that we are across so many different markets that one size does not fit all because we have so many cultures um, and countries that we operate in. So I spent that time listening to um, staff, listening to customers, and we are kind of at the moment on a transformation journey to you know, a total communications and entertainment provider. So it's important that we constantly you know, check that we are you know, on track, on that route to, to I suppose, achieving our goals. Um, you know, we've been on a curve, if you look at, you know, the um, GSM um, business, we've been on a curve of uh, steady growth, and now it's important that we jump on the next curve to propel ourselves into mm. the next generation. What message would you like to send out to the staff of Digicel? Firstly, um, I'd like to thank um, everyone. I have received thousands of messages of welcome mm. since I got back. And, um, thank you so very much. It was very touching for me to receive it's like so many. Home. It is. It's just like I, I feel I'm home. I've, I feel such a warm welcome. I was overwhelmed by the, by the response to coming back. So that has really empowered me. Um, um, you know, our job is to connect our customers to great experiences. Um, I want to um, ensure all our teams know about the obsession with that experience. Um, also, you know, and the team. Um, the team can expect to hear a lot from me through various mediums, um, please check me on Facebook at work. Um, I want to hear from you. Um, it's very important to hear from you. Um, I want this journey to be fun. Um, I want to see leadership. I want to see people coming out of the comfort zone. And you want to feel a vibe in the place. I do, yeah. It's, 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 it's very important to have that, the right vibe. So the vibe mm -hmm. is energy, fun, dynamic, being assertive a place where everyone wants to come to work and everyone wants to work for us, so that's the message.